What's up travelers and welcome to Valencia in Spain. This beautiful city is well known for its arts and science museums. As you can see right behind me, it's got a very futuristic design. It's also home of paella, horchata, and many amazing things here in Spain. Come and explore this beautiful city with us. Valencia is the third largest city in Spain. It dates back to the Roman era and has become one of the design capitals of the world. We arrived in Valencia without too many expectations and definitely fell in love with the vibe of the city. It seems to have the perfect balance between a large city with lots of things to do, but not a huge metropolis where it gets crowded and feels less secure. We started our tour of the city in the center, but quickly made our way to the famous city of the arts and science. The moment you glance at the futuristic buildings in this complex, you feel like you have arrived in a completely different country. The entire complex is an ensemble of ultra-modern architectural marbles with pools surrounding them. Started in the 90s, the city has many buildings including famous attractions such as the Hemispheric, which is a digital 3D cinema with a massive 900 meter concave screen, the Science Museum, which offers different interactive exhibitions about science and technology, the unique Palau de les Arts, which from October to November the Opera House has many extensive programs of opera, concerts and ballet, and the famous Oceanographic, which is Europe's biggest aquarium. With seven different marine environments, almost 45,000 specimens of 500 other species can be seen. When you come to Spain, one of the things that you definitely have to try is the delicious Café Bonbon, which instead of sugar, it's an espresso with condensed milk. It's pretty much like a dessert in a tiny cup. If you love coffee, definitely try the Café Bonbon. Now that we had our sugar rush with caffeine, we made our way back to the historic city center passing through the impressive Serrano's Gate one of the 12 gates that form part of the ancient city wall. Soon after, we started noticing a lot of colorful structures and quickly realized that these were part of the famous Fales festival that takes part every year in Valencia, where hundreds of people work to create amazing pieces of art made of wood and foam with satirical themes of today's society. We learned that after the festivities, they are all put on fire Still, unfortunately, we were too early to experience the entire festival, which we'd love to come back to experience. Walking through Valencia's old town, it's an attraction by itself. Just watching the lively pastry shops and narrow streets will quickly make you fall in love with the city. As with every major European city, Valencia's Cathedral is an icon of the city. This Gothic cathedral dates back to the 13th century and has a beautiful design full of details. Right in front of the cathedral, there's a beautiful square with a fountain and it's the perfect place for you to sit down and take a quick rest and try Valencian's iconic drink. Here in Valencia, they have a very traditional drink which is called horchata. Unlike the Mexican horchata which is made of rice, this one is made from chofa, which is tiger nuts, a seed and nut that is grown in Egypt and apparently has a bunch of really good uh, healthy benefits. Uh, it's quite tasty, so if you're here in Valencia, definitely try some more chata. Bye, 
by far one of our favorite places on every major city in Spain is the Central Market. We are currently at the Central Market of Valencia where you will always find the freshest food and the local ingredients, the paella, the drinks, the beer. Totally recommend for you to come and explore the Central Market of Valencia, have a walk and try as many different foods and fruits and drinks as you can. paella vegetarian style and we just found out that paella it was originally from Valencia did you eat the whole thing so we ate the whole paella yeah. how was it it was really good as always after walking for a bit to cool down all the food and drinks that we had while visiting El Mercado Central, we stumbled upon the beautiful Museum of Fine Arts of Valencia. Housing more than 2,000 pieces of art, it's the perfect place to have some quiet time and enjoy some very interesting pieces of art. One thing we noticed and loved about Valencia was how green the city is and full of parks. It's wide sidewalks making it a very friendly city for walking and biking. The famous Turia Park, which spans approximately 7 kilometers, takes you through some of Valencia's biggest attractions. We truly enjoy yourselves in Valencia and it's high on our list of places to come back with more time. It's somewhat more affordable than Madrid and Barcelona while still offering visitors a long list of things to do and even the beach with its beautiful Soplaya Fort. Sunset and the beautiful view of the city at Barcelo Hotel. Salud.